Oh, oh, hi. Didn't see you, uh, come in. Uh, my apologies. I was too busy reading, uh, this new Jackie Chan book. It it's pretty cool. Uh, it's really fascinating. It's just, uh, Jackie Chan, kind of a memoir of him, uh, just talking about his life and everything, and oh my god, he signed it. How's it going, everyone? My name's Baku, and I just wanted to spread some positivity through, uh, my life. That sounds actually really self-centered and, uh, a really crappy thing to say, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about things that have been going on uh, just kind of around the world. A little bit around with uh, my life a little bit, uh, but um, yeah, just wanted to send a, a good friendly video message. First off, uh, got some uh, black tea. Never tried black tea before. Been drinking a lot of tea lately. Eh, it's not bad. I think that tea said that it has uh, orange uh, flavoring in it, so it's interesting. So to be honest, I wasn't sure what to make a video about today. There's a couple things that I did kind of want to talk about, but nothing too concrete exactly to make a full video, uh, at least not at the moment. So I thought I'd just make a positivity video about all the cool things that have been uh, happening not exactly in my life, but just kind of things around me that things I'm excited for. Got uh, this, uh, not sure, I think you'll be able to see it because it'll camera will reverse, but it is a uh, Jackie Chan's new book, Never Grow Up. I am a huge Jackie Chan fan, have been ever since I was a little kid, I grew up watching it. And uh, this is his new book, came out uh, I think last year, 2018. I had a buddy of mine find uh, this book online because he was doing a promotion for this book in New York City, uh, doing book signings for it. And I went to the website and they were selling signed copies of the book. See, authentic uh, authenticity of uh, Jackie Chan uh, signing this book. So I can't wait to read it. Uh, it'll be a fascinating read. I'm not much of a book reader, but uh, for uh, Jackie Chan, yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> well, in the gaming world, we have quite a lot of things that have been happening already in this first quarter of the year. <coughs> Personally, for me, I've been playing a lot of Resident Evil 2 Remake, which has been really really freaking good i never played the original on the n64 the playstation 1 so seeing this in a remake form is really cool i have definitely seen plenty of people play the original but this one is all new and redesigned and nice capcom polish on it thank god and it's really good i've been playing it exclusively on uh twitch Is punching that zombie outside so you can check that out uh, i think i should have the archives of the entire playthrough on my twitch channel which is down in the description below but enough of being a millennial and quoting crap and stuff like that i always hate saying stuff like that <laughs> kingdom hearts 3 is dropping tomorrow as of this video so that will be interesting not sure if i'm gonna pick it up still kind of on the fence about it <sighs> what is it 13 years like major kingdom hearts game Still like the franchise, and the story is short. It's it's a Kingdom Hearts story. I would love to play Kingdom Hearts three, five years ago, six years ago, hell, even four years ago. The interest of it has kind of waned off on me, and uh, my interests in stories and just games in general has changed a lot. I will at least watch someone play it, if not play it myself. Mostly, I want to play it because I don't want to get spoiled necessarily. Because at the same time. I don't care about the story because it's. I, I can already tell you the plot. Light, darkness, friendship, friendship hearts. They're 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 regarded spoiled the entire plot of Kingdom Hearts three for you guys. <coughs> Have an expectation of what's going to happen. It's just I don't want to necessarily get spoiled or have to be in a room with other people that want to talk about it but can't because I'm in the same room. You kind of get me, kind of feeling me. 
so i want to at least experience it or at least know what's happening watch it or and or play it just so i can be part of i guess the conversation or make sure that nobody in the room is encumbered by me being there heck this is a, like a video game event this is huge for the entire industry of video games is freaking kingdom hearts 3 so it's kind of another reason why i wanted to be a part of uh the event kind of the current events if you will to talk about it i'll probably end up playing it on twitch and streaming it but we'll see <coughs> smash ultimate 2.0 patch is gonna come out sometime this week certainly gonna have a bunch of different patch notes character balances and piranha plant which is gonna be very very odd to have a first dlc especially being piranha plant <coughs> mortal combat 11 combat cast the big uh event for media and stuff happens at the end of this month although they do say that it does play a lot more like street fighter which is a little odd uh, like i'm super excited to play mk now that i've found my passion in fighting games recently i kind of skipped out on mk 9 and 10 so kind of looking forward to playing 11 but at the same time i know going into it it's not exactly an mk game so i don't know i'll still try because i love fighting games we'll have to wait and see <laughs> voice acting career has been a little bit odd too i've been still taking classes and everything from that and been uh, learning a little bit i feel like the classes that i'm currently in i don't want to say that i'm better than everyone but i feel like that i am a little bit farther along from the other peers of mine not that i'm saying i'm a grand slam or anything just i definitely have uh i feel more acting experience in voice acting because voice acting is not about you know how many funny voices you can do it's it's mostly about acting you need to act to be able to voice act and i feel like i'm a little bit farther along the road in terms of that but i am always a firm believer of Make sure you got your fundamentals and your building blocks solid and set. It's never a bad idea to go back and relearn those things to get a strong foundation. So in a way, I'm a little bit bored with my voice acting classes. But at the same time, I'm also fired up and passionate about furthering this career path. It's, it's fascinating. I just want to get a big break. Now, that's not me saying that I just want to get super famous and stuff like that. I just want to have a chance at a big role and it's difficult because this is a very competitive industry especially online where people are mostly not taken seriously or the, the projects that you apply or are, i should say audition for the directors or the people running it and making it the ones where you have to start off with in terms of voice acting careers they're not exactly professional i just finished a anime fan dub and the audio balance and just sound effects are just not right at all. There are loud parts, there are really quiet quiet parts. There are actors where their microphone just is very quiet or you can hear the room. Their screaming is like not good. They have too much gain and it, it's just all over the place. I was happy to do it because I got to voice act and I got to play a character that was just very different from what I normally do. <laughs> So yes, I just want to have a chance to work on a really good project with a very good or at least a serious production manager, director, uh, 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 audio engineer, audio producer. I just want a chance to work on something professional. That's, that's all I really want. Again, not to say that I'm amazing because I still have a lot to learn, but I just know that there is a more professional, obtainable, uh, threshold of something grander and better uh, i guess i i guess you can say I, I just hold my 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 standards in high capacity in terms of like what i know is good and i just want to do something good something that i can perform very well and something i know that the finished product will be good so i chug on i uh keep following my passions i've been really enjoying streaming been streaming like pretty much every single day practically uh with so many great games to play it's been a lot of fun so check me out there if you will i've already said that once god damn freaking millennial making youtube videos is always a passion of mine too and of course voice acting is also something that fulfills me so as long as i have those three things oh and dungeon of the dragons those four things I'll, as long as i have those four things or at least three of those things 
I am complete. I am a complete person. I know I can be happy and no matter what, I know that I can thrive as long as I have those three things. Four things. Four things. So the same goes for you. Find something that you're passionate about and just kind of lose yourself in it. It makes the days go by faster. It makes just life way more enjoyable. It makes things to look forward to, things to be excited about, things that you will allow your mind to think critically about. Just the prospect of trying to better oneself and just the drive and the journey and adventure to better yourself. It's a feeling that is unlike anything that I can describe in words and I hope that you're able to find that. I'm sorry for this super weird video, I just wanted to talk about a couple of cool things that have been on my mind for the past couple of weeks. Yeah, there you go. So, find what drives you and pursue it. Get lost into it. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.